Hi, hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna make rollover buttons that go up when you mouse over them and go down when you remove the mouse. So here's a little preview. Like this. They're cool. And they're nice to have in your website because they're combined with the header itself so it is a nice touch. So first we're going to go to Photoshop. I've already created the header with the buttons. Now the buttons are in this group named buttons. Each button is an individual layer. So if I hide one, you can see it's gone. Also the links are in this group. So this way it is easier to deal with them. Now we're gonna duplicate this entire group so we can make the rollover buttons. Duplicate group. I'm gonna name it rollover. Okay. Now everything that was inside this group is now in the rollover group. I'm gonna hide this. Now I'm going to work with the rollover group. I'm going to select the first brick that that is the button and hold shift key and select the last one. Then control T so we can make him a little bigger like this. This is good. This is this is enough, okay? A little bit more like this, enter. These are good. Now, the links, I'm gonna select the whole group and then just drag them up a little bit. Now, I'm gonna select just one link or layer and blending options. Now I'm gonna have the outer glow effect like this, but I'm gonna make the size maybe four or three. Two, three is good. Okay. Now right click on it and copy layer style. Select the other links and paste layer style. So they're all having now the same effect this. Now these are the rollover. If we hide them, these are the original rollover, original lower. These are nice. Next step is slicing the image. So later we can combine all slices to get the combined header with the buttons thing. Now before we start, you must be on the rollover group. So we're gonna make this group visible. It is really important to be on the rollover buttons when you slice the image. Now I'm gonna grab the slice tool right here. And in this corner we're gonna start slicing just going to drag it till we like reach this side and to reach the top of the buttons like this i'm going to zoom pressing control and plus going to slice the rest of the image this you must be careful when slicing so all the buttons be the same height This 
this must be longer right here and the last one that's it here are my, my slices now I'm gonna save the slices file save for web and devices here are some options for the slices you can modify the quality, the size maybe the extension of the image but I'm gonna leave them as they are save we choose the path where did I... ok, here ok, these are the rollover roll over slices right save now if you go here inside the header photoshop created this folder images and saved all our slices in it so if we looked into the folder here are our slices okay now we're gonna do the same thing for the other group we hide the rollover group and we're gonna save these slices we're not gonna change the slices at all we're gonna leave everything as it is and file save for urban devices save we're gonna name it header like this save. Here we can see the header, the original ones, not the rollover. Next step is going to Dreamweaver to combine all these slices together.